What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So we finally received a new update that does include an updated FSD supervised build in the form of 2024.33.35 and it just finished installing on our Model 3. So we're gonna go check it out. I don't anticipate any other new features here. This is more in line with those updates to FSD supervised like we said, but let's take a look at the full build number and discuss. Okay, so as you can see, back in the Model 3 and the main callouts on 2024.33.35 are all in regards to FSD items, ASS, Actual Smart Summon, FSD Supervised version 12.5.6.3 is that update included, and a couple other things we'll touch on in a second. We already know about ASS. This has not changed since the last build. We still do not have the latest updates Unfortunately, for how to select parking spots or anything like that, everything in these release notes are all the same, including the public highway speed roads, pause your ass maneuver, provide improved blocked camera aborts, reduced false positive collision mitigation aborts, refined dumb summon behavior at curbs, added custom fart uh, completion sounds. But still, same coming soon, home link and MyQ garage integrations and usage without continuous press. I'm actually very curious to see what you guys think about this. Do you feel confident enough in how Smart Summon works to not have to continuously press it if you need a bail? I have some hesitation on it, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Beyond that, the biggest update here is FSD Supervised 12563. And as you can see here, the breakdown is not too lengthy in nature. It's still giving you the same updates from the prior builds that you can now use monitoring systems with sunglasses. It does include end-to-end -end on highway, all of these things that we are already aware of. Same with FSD supervised, the whole breakdown of that. This has not changed either yet. And then the vision-based monitoring that we've talked about is the only release notes from 33.35. If you actually hop around here too, you can see there's no new indicator dots signaling anything else new in the apps. And jumping into settings, again, no quick callouts here that there's anything else new. Jumping into software though, and taking a look at the full build number, as you can see, this is running 2024.33.35 with that full build number of F85FB6D3B. 709. One other call out, there's been rumors that there is a new navigation data that is coming out. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. Obviously, we're running the 20th week of 2024's build. So that was the first one we received. Like we said in the video on that, traditionally, we do receive two map updates a year. So we are right in line for getting another one near the end of the year now. And as crazy as it sounds, there's only about six or seven weeks of the year left. So I would anticipate at least one more coming at this point. One thing also I want to call out that we have been seeing a lot more commonly with updates recently is if you had been playing music prior, there is a playback error specific to load segment error that always seems to pop up and you have to just refresh it or just click on the refresh button or relaunch the app depending on what your music service you're listening to is. I'm not sure why that is. Let us know if you're having that same issue down below as well. Beyond all this, we will be doing an FSD drive here in the near future, but I wanted to give you a quick look and show you kind of what's going on in this build. Very minimal, like we said. The next big update will be the holiday release, and as crazy as it is, again, we're only a few weeks away from that, and not a lot of information has leaked yet. It'll be the first year our Cybertruck will be getting one, and we are super excited to see what they have in store for that. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.